Hey everyone, my name is James Toll. This is my incredible, lovely wife, Jamie. We are here today making this uh, YouTube video because we left our former company about 45 days ago and we've been having a lot of people ask us why exactly we did that. So before we share with you why we left our former company, I wanna just get everybody caught up on our journey as far as how we got to where we're at. So if my wife would share obviously our story with everybody. Absolutely. Uh, we have four children between us and we've always been traditional biz business owners. We had a residential pressure cleaning and painting company. We had a limousine company and basically around the year 2008 when the economy tanked, our businesses being service industry businesses took a huge hit from that. And what happened to us was we ended up having to file for bankruptcy. Our home was in foreclosure. We also had been dabbling in the real estate market, so we were left with all kinds of property that we were sort of stuck with. And the beauty of all of that is, even when you think you're at your lowest of lows, you find a way to get yourself out of it. And direct sales actually saved us. And we actually really grew to love that industry. We never thought we would do anything like that. I was the one who actually got us involved to begin with. My husband, when I told him what I had done and the company I had signed up for was extremely angry at the time with me, but it truly was something that we have grown over the years now to love. Because number one, we love working with people. And number two, to create extra income for families and for households has become a very important thing for us. Like Jamie said, when we first got started in direct sales, um, it was kind of by accident. She came home one day and said, um, honey, we joined a shopping club. And I said, what, Sam's, Costco, BJ's? I was like, what are you talking about? And she said, a shopping club. And I said, where did that cost us? And she said, $500. And to be very honest with everybody, um, I knew she got us involved in one of those things, one of those things that I didn't want to have anything to do with. But my incredible wife forced me to go to a meeting that week. And at that meeting, the blinders came off because like my wife said, we were in financial trouble. So I saw a huge opportunity, not only for my wife and I to make some extra income to put food on the table for our kids, but obviously to share it with others. Unfortunately, that company only lasted about two years. Jamie and I were very blessed. Uh, we did quite well with that company. We were number 30 out of about 150,000 people. But again, it only lasted about two years. So when Jamie and I were looking for our next company, we wanted to find something that had been around longer and uh, before we put our name on it and so forth because we didn't want to have a company obviously fall on its face again. So we got started with a company that uh, was about 20 years old. And when I found that company, what I did is I looked for a leader, a mentor that I could learn from and follow. And this is kind of where it starts with the leadership here that's on the board was five years ago when I started with a mentor at that time that um, we were kind of like we're oil and vinegar. We just didn't mix. Is it water and oil? Right. Okay. Oil and water, yeah. We just didn't mix, okay? So my wife and I had... Um, a great journey with that company. The best thing about it was the education that we got. But again, um, we just, the style of the leadership just didn't work, okay? So what happened was that guy left that company, went to a new company, asked us to take a look at it, which we did. I never thought I'd follow that guy again, but I did because I'm a very forgiving person, more or less, and we followed. Jamie and I had an incredible experience with that company. It actually had to do with something that um, I didn't even like. And I'm gonna kind of let her talk about that real quick as far as the product. It had to do with coffee and it's specifically a weight loss coffee. And, and exactly what my husband said, I'm the coffee drinker in the household, he was not. So he saw my reaction to coffee. He knows everybody that we know drinks coffee. I mean, let's face it, 85% of all Americans do drink coffee. So for me, it was a perfect fit. Again, um, I didn't get along with that leader, but I needed to forgive and forget. And when I met the owner of that company, I saw a man that I thought had the leadership values that I was looking for in regards to integrity, honesty, 
team values versus ego versus I, center of attention, those kind of values. Um, but what occurred over time is the previous company had two main leaders. One leader that had heart, one leader that was genuine and sincere, and the other one that had those leadership values, as I mentioned, that was I, ego, greed, which was extremely dysfunctional. And what occurred was the owner was backing his leadership style, which basically didn't sit over well with my wife and I, because that's not who we are. We are what are called servant leaders. We believe again in one team, one dream. We believe in speaking from our heart. Uh, we believe in humility, integrity, and relationships. So after about three years of being with that company and believing 1,000% in the coffee industry, we just knew there was something not right when it comes to the leadership. And Jamie and I, New Year's Eve 2016, we decided we needed to do something else. And we found a very similar company that we are now completely obsessed, madly crazy about because the leadership values are similar to ours. So I'm gonna let my wife tell you a little bit about, again, the name of that company and what it is. Well, we actually, just so you know, we when we made the decision to leave the 1st of January or that we needed to, to contemplate leaving, it was a very difficult decision for us both. We put three years into a company that we truly loved with our heart and had worked very hard at it. By the end of January, with a few things that had occurred at that time, that's when we actually made the decision and we resigned from the one company and we joined a company called Valentis. And the reason we went with Valentis was, number one, the leadership is amazing. The gentlemen that run the company and own the company are two incredible men. Absolutely. We, to be honest, I tried the coffee. That's really what convinced me. The coffee by far is the best coffee I've had. It's an Italian roast. It has weight loss properties on top of all kinds of other herbs that have mind clarity focus mixed into this coffee product. It's extremely healthy and across the board, we're having such incredible success stories. So to me, to have a product that is that um, effective for everybody across the board, not just a couple people here and there, but it truly 100% we're seeing weight loss and people feeling better everywhere. Anybody and everybody we're giving this coffee to, they are falling in love with it. Absolutely. Um, partnerships like a marriage, you've gotta be on the same page. And after many years of being in partnership with some leaders that just had completely a different style, um, I knew when I looked at Valentis that the core values of the leadership were extremely important, okay? I didn't know a lot about the products and coffee as my wife did, so when she tried the Valentis coffee, I looked at her to see her response and she loved it. Then we started investigating what was in the product and we found that it was superior to the old product that we obviously had been promoting for three years. So what happened in my head, guys, was I kind of pictured we were with McDonald's and McDonald's hadn't had um, any competition for the three years that we were a part of the old company, but all of a sudden, um, competition emerged called Burger King. And that was the company called Valentis that we found. And as a good businessman, it, it, it's important to know who your competition is. So again, we recognized the core values of the leadership aligned more with my wife and I. The products were superior, which means the belief level of everybody using them obviously would be so much higher because they were getting such better success. In addition, I'm a numbers guy, I really needed to study the compensation plan because at the end of the day, guys, money is very important. It's not everything, of course, but a lot of people are getting involved in direct sales as a plan B to make some additional income, okay? So if the compensation plan doesn't work, it's not gonna work. So when I studied the compensation plan, I found that it was by far 
superior to the old company. So I figured, you know, if Burger King is offering grilled hamburgers versus McDonald's that are fried, the hamburgers are a little bit healthier. The product with Valentis is obviously healthier. In addition, if Burger King is gonna pay my wife and I $20 an hour to flip hamburgers all day long versus McDonald's at $10 an hour, I don't know about you all, but we decided to go to Burger King where the hamburgers are grilled, the money is better, and the principle and the values of the leaders are far superior. So that's why Jamie and I, 45 to 50 days ago, had to make a very hard leadership decision. And trust me, it was not easy, but leaders have to make hard decisions. We basically prayed together, took a leap of faith, we moved on, and we could not be more excited about the product, the company, the team, because we had built relationships, people followed us, and, and, and in roughly, what, 45 days, baby? Yeah. We've had about 300 people follow us, which we are so grateful and thankful for, and we can't wait, obviously, to share with everybody more about this company called Valentis. Thank you.